continuation of our discussion, now it's time for us to discuss the organization setup of front office. So when we say organization, usually ito yung tinatawag natin na mga organizational chart. So sa organizational chart, it displays a reporting or relationship hierarchy or structure. So dito natin nakikita sino ba yung mga tao na nasa top management? Sino ba yung mga tao under rank and file position? Sino ba yung ating mga managers? Sino yung mga supervisors? Sino yung mga subordinates ng ating mga leaders? So basically, organizational chart, it is the visual chart that represents the structure of a company. Usually, it highlights how teams and departments are organized. So syempre, let's say for example, sa food and beverage um, department, so, meron tayong tinatawag na food and beverage manager, food and beverage supervisor, and so on. So, we have here an example. So, this is the front office organization for large hotels. So, syempre, si front office manager, siya yung pinaka-head. So, kumbaga sa boss, siya yung pinaka-boss under front office department. So, under him or her, meron tayong mga front desk supervisor, Reservation Supervisor, meron tayong Bell Captain, Chief Telephone Exchange, Chief Airport Transport Assistance, and meron tayong Chief Concierge and Guest Relation. So, under ng mga yon or under ng mga heads natin na yun, is meron pa silang subordinates, or meron pang tao kung saan naka-under sa kanila. So, yun na nga po si Desk Info Clerk, si Reservation Clerk, Si doorman at saka si bellboy, si telephone operator, si airport and transport representative, si concierge clerk at saka si business center clerk. So we are going to discuss one by one kung ano ba yung kanilang mga trabaho at yung functions nila inside the hotel. So organizational setup of front office. Number one is the front desk. So basically si front desk. It looks after the registration of the hotel guests and serves as the communication and information center. So, according din na mga na-discuss natin kanina, so si front desk ang, ang pinakauna natin na pupuntahan kapag tayo is papasok sa hotel. Ibig sabihin, sa kanya mag start yung registration process, check-in process, up to the departure stage, which is yung check-out process. Number two is the reservation section. So, handles inquiries and reservations for room bookings. So, syempre lahat ng mga inquiries, mga katanungan, concerns. So, also with um, regards to the reservation, halimbawa, magpapareserve ka ng room, magpapareserve ka halimbawa ng um, rooms for your family, for your friends, o kaya naman sa you mismo, so, tatawag ka kay reservation section or si reservation section ang makaka-receive lahat ng inquiries and reservations ni guests. Next is the bell service. So, responsible for escorting guests during check-in and check-out for attending to guest luggage and for doing errands for the front desk. So, si bell service, the moment you arrive sa hotel, especially kung meron kang mga dala-dala, Diba? Kung may mga luggage ka na dala-dala or kung meron ka mga, let's say, mga maleta na dala. So, si Bell Service ang mag escort sa sa'yo or mag a sa sa'yo. So, sinasabi dyan, if also meron ka mga errands na gustong um, iutos, so, pwede na sabihin natin siya kay Bell Service. So, responsible for escorting the guest or assisting the guest during his or her stay. So, next one is the telephone exchange. So, si telephone exchange, it operates the switchboard or the telephone communication system. So, from the word itself, telephone. So, ibig sabihin, isa siya sa mga in-charge pagdating sa communication system. Lalong-lalo na pag may mga tumatawag na guests, may mga inquiries. So, siya yung um, nagda-direct from one department to another. So, that is telephone exchange.
So next one is the concierge and guest relations assistance. So is the section attends to various forms of guest services like tour and travel assistance, directions to the point of interest, confirmation of airline tickets, booking for cultural shows, car hire, and other services of this kind. So si concierge or si guest relations assistants, sila yung nag assist kay guests, sila yung tumutulong kay guests kung may kung meron si guests na mga um, preferred na services na gawin. Like for example, So for example, So for example, si guests, um, kailangan niyang magpa-book ng ticket sa isang airline company. So, pwedeng gumawa nun is si concierge or si guest relation assistant. Kung halimbawa, gusto ni guest na mag-book ng isang cultural show, bumili ng ticket sa sinihan. So, pwedeng ang mag-ayos nun is si concierge or si guest relations assistant. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung mga various forms of guest services, they can, they can do it for you. Okay? So, sila yung gagawa nun para sa'yo. So, next one is the front office cashiering. So, looks after the preparation of bills and the settlement of guest account. So, from the word itself, cashier. So, sa kanila dumadaan or sila yung nagpe-prepare ng mga bills ni guest at kapag babayaran na or isesettle na ni guest yung kanilang mga bills. So, lahat ng mga nakonsume ni guest, the moment na nagstay siya sa Sa hotel, lahat ng kanyang mga transactions, so kung meron mang mga dapat bayaran, so si front office cashier ang mag-aayos nun. So number 7, airport and transport assistance handles the transports of guests to and from the airport or other terminal transport. So for example, um, si guest, kailangan na niyang mag-check out. So upon check out, kailangan niya na pumunta sa airport. So, pwede kapag ang isang hotel is nag offer ng airport assistance or transport assistance, so sila mismo yung maghahatid kay guests papunta doon sa airport or doon sa terminal. So, syempre yun is may corresponding na bayad. So, kasama siya sa mga bills na babayaran ni guest kay front office cashier. Next one is the business center. Handles special services like computer service, fax, email, xerox, souvenir items, and many more. So, for example, ang isang guest is a businessman. ba? Usually, yung mga businessman, they are more like of yung magpapaserox, meron silang mga kailangan na isend na email, may mga kailangan ipapotocopy ng mga documents, and so on. So, pwedeng si business center yung gagawa nun. Kung kailangan na uh, mag-avail ng mga pasalubong sa souvenir or mga souvenir items kung meron man yung hotel, so doon siya pupunta kay business center. And sometimes nag-overlap yung ating mga trabaho. Pwedeng si front desk, siya na rin yung business center. Sa kanya ka na din pwedeng magpa-photocopy ng mga documents or papers. So handles special services. The next one is the job description of front office personnel. So, ano ba yung sinasabi natin na job description? So, si job description, ito yung internal document that clearly states the essential job requirements. So, dito nakapaloob, ano ba yung mga kailangan mong gawin sa trabaho mo? Ibig sabihin, ano yung mga responsibilities na kailangan mong gawin? Ano yung mga skills na required para nang sa ganun is ma-perform mo yung specific job or role mo doon sa hotel. So sinasabi rin dito that it is um, the essential responsibilities, ito yung mga general task and other related duties and responsibilities given in a particular position. So number one is the front office manager. So, katulad ng nabanggit natin kanina, si front office manager is the head of the front office department. So, basically, ang kanyang function is to plan, organize, direct, controls all areas of front office operation. So, everything na kailangan gawin sa front office department, 
si a front office manager yung pinakagagawa lahat ng plano siya yung mag-organize siya yung magda-direct sa kanyang mga front desk associate at siya rin yung mag-i-implement ng mga rules and regulation for the department so next one is the front desk supervisor so kung may manager meron din namang supervisor sa front office department so oversees the front desk operations particularly the handling of res registration of the guests so syempre um dahil hindi naman madalas ba diba, na minsan or hindi madalas na andun si front desk manager or si front office manager so pwede na ang kanyang katugon or ang kanyang katulong is si supervisor so alam naman natin pag supervisor ka you are overseeing ibig sabihin tinitingnan mo kung nagagawa ba ng mga subordinates mo yung kanilang mga trabaho at ang pinaka important job ni FO is with regards to the registration of the guests lahat ng mga guests na magpapareserve, lahat ng mga guests na mag-check in at that time, mag-check out, and everything na may kinalaman sa kanilang department. Number three is the sales reservation supervisor. So, direct and overseas operations pertaining to room sales and reservation. So, si sales and reservation supervisor, so sa kanila, sa kanila lahat nakikita yung uh, mga reservation, yung um, kinikita ng ating hotel, most likely yung mga room sales. So, sa kanila yon pumapasok. And then, si supervisor, syempre, siya yung nag oversee ng lahat ng reservation na binook kay reservation center. At the same time, yung sales no room. Magkano na ba yung ating revenue for the day? Ilang rooms yung nabenta? Ilang rooms yung nabook? Ilang rooms yung... Um, um, vacant. Okay? So nakikita 'yon ni sales and reservation supervisor. Next one is the reservation clerk attends to room sales and reservation. So it's the same thing kanina nang sinabi natin, they are all responsible with regards sa room reservation. Desk clerk attends to the registration of guests and provides information assistance. So para lang din siyang si concierge na kung may mga katanungan si guest, so pwede nilang sagutin at the same time with regards to the registration of guest. Sometimes kasi ang front desk, tinatawag din siyang desk clerk. So next one is the doorman and bellboy assist and escorts guests during check-in and check-out and run errands for the front desk. So katulad ng nabanggit natin kanina si bell um bell service So, same with doorman and bellboy. So, they are the one who are assisting the guests, especially kung maraming dala. At lalong-lalo na kung may mga katanungan si guests with regards to the hotel services. So, si doorman and bellboy yung kanilang pwedeng kausapin. Front office cashier. So, as mentioned a while ago. So, attends to the settlement of guest bill. So, syempre, minimaintain din nila yung tinatawag natin na guest folio na kung saan sa guest folio doon nakalagay lahat ng mga transaction ni guest, lahat ng kanyang mga uh, so, lahat ng may kinalaman sa mga na-consume ni guest, sa mga transactions ni guest, so hawak yon ni front office cashier. And syempre, pag sinabing cashier, sa kanya mo din settle or babayaran yung mga na-consume mo for the entire stay mo sa hotel. So, airport and transport representative transports guests to and from the airport terminal, sells hotel services to prospective patrons at the airport. So, syempre, kung ikaw ay isang airport or transport representative, so, kung halimbawa sa booking ni guests is meron siyang request na susunduin siya sa airport, so, isa ka, or ikaw yung susundu kay guests, or ikaw din yung maghahatid kay guests especially if you are um, also offering iba't ibang mga hotel services so guest relation or concierge officer attends to any request for guest assistance especially for VIPs so kung meron tayo mga VIP guests so malaki rin ang role na ginagampanan ni guest relation at ni concierge officer 
Parang siya kasi yung pinagmumula ng mga information. Kung may mga katanungan, kung may tanong ka sa hotel, saan yung spa, saan yung gym, saan yung, um, let's say, swimming pool, yung lobby area. So, kung may hindi ka matagpuan na lugar sa hotel, so sila yung magsasabi sa'yo or any other related information. Telephone operator attends to all incoming and outgoing calls in the telephone exchange section. So, sinasabi lang dyan na lahat ng mga calls, ba? Diba? Lahat ng mga, um, let's say, wake up call, ba? Diba? So, ikaw yung matatawag sa mga rooms ni guests, tapos sasabihin mo na, Good morning, may I remind you that your um, breakfast is ready to serve? So, yung mga ganong klase. Na si telephone operator, um, it, they are in charge for the incoming and outgoing calls in the telephone exchange section. Business center clerk attends to service request of guests at the business center. So, sa business center, sabi ko nga, pwede kang magpa-photocopy ng mga documents. Pwedeng nandito rin matatagpuan yung souvenir shop ng hotel kung meron man. At yung iba't iba pang mga items or products na related or in-offer ni hotel. So, the next one is the role of front office in interdepartmental communication. So, ano ba yung ginagampana na trabaho ni FO with regard sa iba't ibang departments ng hotel? So, sabi dyan, it plays a vital or pivotal role in delivering hospitality to guests. So, it set the stage for a pleasant or unpleasant visit. Developing a positive personal relationship is part of the communication process but it cannot be relied on to ensure that accurate and current information is relayed. So, dito um, sinasabi lang natin na ang FO malaki yung kanyang role. Um, ang role nila is very important especially uh, humaharap ka sa tao. There is a communication. There is a personal communication with the guest. Na face to face, makakausap mo si guest and in that case, you need to build a positive relationship kay guests. You need to build a positive communication para nang sa ganun, maging smooth yung flow ng transaction or yung stay ni guests. Same with other departments sa hotel. So, front office interaction with other departments in the hotel. So, it acts as a communication liaison in providing guest services. So, ano ba yung sinasabi natin na Liaison. So, pag sinabing liaison, usually ikaw yung nakikipag-contact, nakikipag-connect or collaborate with regard sa iba't ibang department. Para nang sa ganun, lahat kayo as a one hotel or as a one company or organization, you can be able to provide yung tinatawag na guest services. So, they are the face and the voice of hospitality for the organization around the clock. So, ibig sabihin, alam naman natin, ang isang FO, di ba, para silang mga flight attendants. Yung kanilang aura, yung kanilang um, um, grooming, yung kanilang ayos, and especially the way they interact, the way they communicate with the guests. So, basically, sila yung nagsiset ng rule, or sila yung unang interaction. And alam naman natin na kapag ang impression mo sa isang tao is maganda at first, so, magiging tuloy-tuloy na yung uh, magandang um, flow lalong lalo na kap habang nag stay ka sa hotel so next is the marketing and sales department so sinasabi dyan that marketing and sales department relies on the front office to provide data on guest history or details concerning guest visit so si marketing and sales meron din silang relationship with front office department Kasi tinitingnan ni marketing and sales yung tinatawag na guest history. So, yung guest history na sinasabi natin, ito o ito yung system or document na makikita natin kung ilang beses ba nag stay si guest, ilang beses na siyang nakapag-check-in um, sa hotel, yung mga dates, yung time ng kanyang pag-check-in, anong booking site ang ginamit niya or mode of booking ang ginamit niya. So, makikita lahat yon sa guest history. And from there, madedetermine natin kung may market ba natin ng maayos yung ating hotel. So, kung makikita natin sa guest history na ay si Mr. 
uh, Mandia is laging naka-check-in sa hotel. Twice a month siyang nag-check-in. So, why not, di ba? I-chat natin. Uh, Mag-email tayo kay Mr. Mandia. Um, we have to ask him kung gusto niya mag-avail ng membership sa hotel because isa siyang loyal guest. So, do natin siya madedetermine. So, the FO job is to make the good impression on the public, to relay message, and to meet the request of guests who are using the hotel for meeting purposes, seminar, or banquet. So, sinasabi dyan, the guest history is the valuable resource for marketing and sales because dun nakadepende on how are we going to campaign the hotel how are, how are we going to develop promotion and of course paano natin siya i-advertise sa media either it be on television social media platforms such as Facebook, IG, Twitter and their website so ayan ito yung example ng guest history so kung makikita ninyo nakalagay dyan yung um, room type na binook ni guest, anong room niya, ano yung kanyang, um, let's say, ano yung kanyang mga details such as ilang beses na siyang naka-check-in sa hotel. Makikita niyo dyan yung confirmation number, arrival, departure, status, room type, di ba? Kung ano yung mga room numbers na na-assign sa kanya, the rate of the rooms. So, makikita rin dyan kung ilan na yung total stay niya sa hotel. So, that is what we call guest history. Lahat ng information ni guest from the moment na nag-check-in siya sa hotel up to the next stay at sa mga susunod pa niya ulit na pag-stay. Ayan. So, another example. Okay. So, the marketing and sales executive may to check the list of available ayan, available 3 or 6 more or even a year in a furniture to be sure or for so the marketing and sales executive may may be able to check the list of available 3 or 6 more or even a year in the future to be sure hotel can accommodate the guests or the expected number of guests so, syempre, may mga guests na they are requesting for a meeting, seminar. So, lahat ng yon is pwedeng makipag-coordinate si FO, kay Banquet, at saka kay Sales and Marketing Department. So, Banquet Manager, the persons responsible for fulfilling the details of service for the banquet or special events. So, lahat ng may kinalaman sa, with regard sa gathering, kung merong gaganaping special events sa hotel, for example, gaganapin yung um, 18th birthday ng iyong kapatid. ba? So, pag ginanap sa hotel yon, tapos mag-check in yung mga guests doon. So, there is a collaboration or connection with regards kay banquet manager or banquet department tsaka kay FO. And of course, sales associate who book the guest requirements for banquet or special events. So, syempre, si sales associate, siya yung makikipag-usap kay banquet manager with regards sa bookings ni guests sa mga special events or banquet functions. Housekeeping department. So, meron din siyang um, relationship with regards to the front office. Kasi, syempre, sinasabi dyan, housekeeping room status, rep the report on availability of the rooms for immediate guest occupancy. So, merong communication si housekeeping at si FO. Kasi, di ba? So, pag-aalis na si, si guest, mag-check out na. So, sino ba yung tatawagan ni FO? So, syempre, tatawagan niya si housekeeping. Okay, so, sasabihin na good afternoon. Housekeeping department, kindly check room 102, ready for check out. So, pag na-check na ni housekeeping department or ni room attendant yung room 102, tatawag ulit si housekeeping department. So, sabihin niya, room 102 ready for check out. All the items in the room or all the amenities and facilities are in good condition. So, ibig sabihin, pwede nang mag-check out si room 102 kasi na-clear na ni housekeeping department. And from that time, syempre, lilinisi na ni housekeeper yung room and i-update niya na yung room status. So, from occupy dirty, 
pwede niya nang baguhin yung status into vacant clean. Diba? So, yung mga napag-aralan natin before sa housekeeping. So, food and beverage department. So, may mga ilang terms na nabanggit dito. But then again, communication to F&B and front office is essential. Lalong lalo na may mga guests tayo na they are um, dining in sa restaurant, they are availing yung mga menu sa restaurant, and sometimes hindi nila yun agad binabayaran. Sinasabi na i-charge sa kanilang account or sa kanilang room. I-charge sa kanilang bill. So may mga terms dito such as transfer which are formed to use to communicate a charge to the guest account, are used to relay message and to provide accurate information. So, kung meron tayo mga ipapacharge, di ba, sa ating sariling account as a guest, so, ang tawag nila doon is transfer. So, predicted house count, an estimate of the number of the guests expected to register based on previous occupancy activities. So, dito madedetermine natin ilan ba yung mga guests na expected natin na uh, mag-check in sa hotel. So, syempre kung halimbawa na predict natin na there are 100 guests in the hotel, so mapepredict natin kung ilan yung guests na mag-breakfast, de ba? Ilan yung guests na ilan yung guests na magde-dine in or probably magde-dine in sa restaurant. So, that is predicted house count. Next one is the paid out Forms used to indicate the amount of money paid out of the cashier's drawer on behalf of the guest or an employee of the hotel. So, si paid out, ito yung ginagamit natin na uh, mga forms para ma-indicate natin na, ba yung mga money na binabayaran out of cashier's drawer. So, on behalf of guests or an employee of the hotel. So, ito yung ginagamit natin na form, yung mga fini-fill up natin na form para ma-indicate na ito yung payment. Okay? Next one is the point of sale terminal. Computerizes cash register that interface with a PMS. Information on guest charge is automatically posted to guest folio. Okay, so paano ba natin malalaman kung ano si point of sale Terminal. So, example nyan is kapag ginamit natin yung ating credit card or debit card sa pagbabayad ng mga pinurchase natin na items or services. So, usually dadaan yan sa tinatawag na point of sale terminal. So, binabasa niya yung magnetic strip ng ating credit card or debit card at chinecheck niya kung meron bang laman ito para nang sa ganun is makapag-transfer siya ng pera or maikaltas niya yung amount of money na binili natin doon sa particular store or establishments. So, it can either be a store, establishments, a hotel, depende kung saan ka uh, magpa-purchase ng items or services. So, the next one is the guest folio. So, his or her records of charges and payment. So, as mentioned a while ago also. So, dito nakalagay lahat ng mga charges, yung mga dapat na bayaran ni guess So example ng guest folio, ayan makikita ninyo, may guest name, yung folio number, anong number ng kanyang room? Of course, the number of guests, ayan kung ano yung room rate niya or magkano at yung kanyang mga um, transactions within the day. So pag tinotal 'yan, so yun yung tinatawag natin na total bill ni guest. So, banquet department, so it is often combined the function of marketing and sales. F&B department requires the FO to relay information to guests about the schedule of events and bill payment. So, si banquet department, nakikipag-coordinate siya, nakikipag-usap siya kay marketing, kay sales, kay F&B, at syempre si FO, di ba? With regards sa information ni guests about sa schedule ni guests or sa schedule ng event, so, kasama din si FO doon. So, we'll, we have here a term, daily announcement board. So, an inside listing of the daily activities of the hotel. So, dito natin makikita ano ba yung mga activities ng hotel sa araw na to. 
ba? Diba? Ano yung mga, um, let's say, may wedding ba? Nagaganapin sa hotel? May mga seminars ba? May mga meetings ba? So, doon siya nakalagay sa daily announcement board. And meron din tayong term na nilagay dito, which is the controller. Relies on the front office staff to provide a daily summary of financial transaction through a well-prepared night audit. So, si controller naman, siya yung nagpo-provide or siya yung nagbibigay ng lahat ng summarization ng may kinalaman sa finances ng hotel. Para nang sa ganun, magamit ito ni night audit or maihanda ito ni night audit sa kanyang um, task or duty within the night. So, the next one is maintenance or engineering department and security department. So, this department and FO communicate on room status and request for maintenance service. So, security department, this department and FO are important in providing hospitality to the guests. So, syempre, um, aside from the other departments na napag-usapan natin, Meron din talagang communication si FO kay security department Especially kapag may mga guests na bigla na lang Let's say for example, may mga guests tayo na madidiwara, di ba? Um, hindi na nila na ha-handle yung kanilang patients Lalong-lalo na kung meron silang mga katanungan na hindi sila masatisfy sa sagot May mga guests tayo na nag hysterical kasi may mga complaints So isa si security department na gumagabay sa hotel with regards to those instances or circumstances. So, this department work closely together in maintaining guest security. So, syempre, na, syempre gusto natin na si guest once na nag-check in siya sa hotel, so safe and secured. So, si security department yung in charge dun. And especially kung merong mga maintenance na dapat gawin sa room, let's say for example, merong mga light bulbs na pundido na may problema sa sink may problema sa television so si maintenance department naman yung kailangan na in charge doon sa particular scenario so human resource management o yung tinatawag natin na HRM so basically they develop guidelines for the front desk clerk to use in initially screening candidates So, nakikita nyo naman sa picture, si Human Resources, they are in charge for the management ng kanilang mga employees, ba? Diba? Sila yung gumagabay sa mga employees with regards to the career, recruitment, kung meron tayong mga iha-hire na employees, sila rin yung in charge with regards to skills training. Kung may mga seminars, may mga uh, meetings na kailangan attendan para mas ma-enhance yung knowledge, skills, and performance ng isang FO or employee, si human resource management or department yung in charge for that so the role of TQM in effective communication so ano ba si TQM na tinatawag so TQM stands for total quality management so it is a management management technique that encourage manager to look with a critical eye at process use to deliver product and services The most important aspect of TQM in the context of the hotel industry is the interaction between frontline employees and their supervisors. So, from the word itself, total quality management. The totality, di ba? Yung kabuan ng quality na dapat natin na i-produce, na dapat nating i-deliver sa ating mga clients, sa ating mga guests, So, dito natin yon pinag-aaralan. It is a technique. Para nang sa ganun, uh, makita natin ano ba yung mga areas sa ating establishment, sa ating hotel, na kailangan pa natin mas pag-igihan, na i-enhance. Para nang sa ganun, ma-meet natin yung satisfaction ni guests. But most likely, nagsisimula si TQM kapag may interaction na maayos yung mga employees sa kanilang mga supervisor, sa kanilang manager. Kasi kapag maayos yung interaction nila, yung kanilang relationship, therefore, they can provide or deliver good and high quality products and services to their clients. So, that will be the end of our presentation about the introduction to front office department. So, if you missed some points in our lesson video, feel free to rewind it in YouTube. And of course, kindly comment down below all your learnings in our 
lesson. So thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.